Hey guys, it's Renee. So today I thought I would share with you how to make this broken record hoop earrings. They're actually really easy to make. So for this one, I'm going to be using some porcelain clay. This is the kind of clay that hardens with air. Feel free to work with polymer clay as well. Just prefer to work with this one. You don't have to bake anything. And I feel you get more for your money. I'm going to be using a big cookie cutter. This is so random, but I like the like size of it. And I got this on a set of like cookie cutters. I'm just showing you real quick what set it is because it's really dirty. I need to clean it up. Then I'm going to be using a piping tip to aid. This is from a local brand, but just the round piping tip. I'm going to be working over a piece of wax paper, parchment paper, just so the clay doesn't stick to my table. I'm going to be working with my roller that has like those two rings on each side. Those are there just so that I can have the same thickness all over my clay. I made a DIY on those rings if you want to check them out. So I'm just going to be cutting my clay as if it was like cookie dough using a cookie cutter. And then I'm going to mark the middle part of it with my sharpie. Then I'm going to be making a small hole in the middle, just checking that it's in the middle part of, through that hole. And then I'm just going to be using my X-Acto knife or just my cutters. And I'm going to be cutting this to make this hoop earrings, a 90 degree angle. I'm going to be making the whole thing twice for the other earring. And just to make sure they look as even as possible, I'm going to be uh, placing the earring that I just did on top just to base myself from like where the hole goes and where to cut it. As it is drying, I'm going to be taking a couple of ear posts and I'm going to be cutting that part, like the disc part. And just before my earrings are fully dry, I'm just going to be placing some pins just to make a, a small hole and then I'm going to be placing my earring and I'm just going to let it dry with that there for um, overnight or a few hours it shouldn't last long because they are really thin I'm going to be using my silver acrylic paint, my brush and I'm going to be painting them you don't need to cover this a lot because it's just for the background that is not going to be visible. Then I'm going to be taking this Pure Eyes nail polish. I don't even know if they still sell this brand even. I bought this a long time ago, like years ago. But I really like the chunky bits on it. And this is the name of this. Dazzle Me? I don't know. And I'm going to be painting this. And guys, I'm sorry I didn't post anything last week. I was a mess. I wanted to share these earrings in this as you see them right now. And then in gold. But because I'm using nail polish and I gave them two coats. It took each coat a while to try. But this is the only cute holographic glitter that I have. And I also wanted to um, enjoy this holographic for a while before I move on to gold. I'm going to be painting them gold and if they look cute, I'm going to share them with you later. I've also been working on a like earrings class. Hopefully the class is a success. Uh, we'll see about that. But yeah, back to this. Just a tip. If you have access to holographic glitter that's not nail polish, just work with that one because glitter nail polish, uh, it takes a long time to dry. But overall, I really like them. I think they look so pretty. And yeah, this reminds me of like CDs, like CDs when they broke. If you ever had them, yeah, this reminds me of that. But yeah, overall, I really like them. Even if they were uh, kind of like a nightmare to paint, I tried to show you what the glitter looks like nighttime, but the camera is not making it justice at all. It's a lot more glitter and holographic really shines especially at nighttime but yeah hopefully you like them and it gave you some ideas if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up check out more earrings that i have on my channel subscribe for more let me know what you think of this ones and share them thank you so much for watching take care especially in this times and i'll talk to you later bye guys